Keep watching Charis TV. Jesus name. Yeah. Yeah, pastor? Yes. Where? In Eastern Cape. So don't call yourself a prophet. Yes. You hear me? Yes, I was. You hear? I hear you. You can call yourself apostle. Yes. You hear me? Yes, I'm an apostle. You're an apostle? Yes. Because I'm seeing churches. Amen. Different places. Amen. You understand? Amen. That you're going to plant. Amen. As I was always dreaming about you. Huh? I was always dreaming about you, telling my wife. Where's your wife? Come. Because when I would pray for you, I see spots. So I was asking, what is the meaning of spots of lights everywhere? Amen. You understand? Amen. And I heard that you are not a prophet. Don't call yourself prophet. Amen. Though you have a gift of prophecy. Amen. You have a gift of prophecy. Amen. But call yourself apostle. Amen. So you call yourself apostle? I call myself an apostle. Hey, so God wants to use you? I receive. I receive. Uh, that's why he brought you. Amen. I receive. In fact, you, you didn't decide to come here. It was not easy for you to it come It was here. not easy. Eh? It was not easy. I always tell my wife. Eh? It was not easy. Why your wife is crying? Because <laughs> as I wait for you to finish crying, I feel like, well, I've got many people. I want to pray for you people here. You must not use tears everywhere. I was denying for him to come here. Huh? I was denying for him to come here. Why? Because we are fake. Because we are fake, isn't it? And I always telling her that I'm dreaming about you. Yeah, so because we are fake, that's why you were denying. Sister, we are fake. We are false prophets. Yeah. Can you see you people, you'll be judged by God. You'll be judged by God. Your husband, God is speaking with him. He must come here. And here, I have to pray for him. For the bigger assignment, you, you allow Satan to use you. It was not easy for this man to come. Yeah? Yeah? Since 2015, you wanted to come. Yes, I but always you, dream about you. Have you have opposition. Calling. Amen. Huh? So, well, sister, you don't want to repent. I do. Yeah? I wanted you to. I wanted you to, like, to to locate him. Our, he was always telling me that he was dreaming about you and God is, is speaking to him about you. So the time we came here, I was waiting that maybe you locate him. So that's the, why I became a false prophet. No, it's not like I was saying you're a false prophet, but like... Why well, you didn't want him to come here? He introduced me to another man of God, but he told me the reason why he goes there. Ne? So I fall in listen, love with that listen. prophet. Listen, be careful. Be careful. You talk too much. This man is your husband. You must listen to him. You humble yourself. You hear me? God bless you. Amen. Help me. How do you stop a person who saw someone and you don't even know this person? What job were you doing before? I was at school. Huh? I was an admin assistant at school. You were doing admin? Yes. Huh? Yes. And now what happened? 
the contract got a, a, the contract ended. Now that's why you come to church. Sir? That's why you have come to church. Yes. <laughs> huh? If it didn't end? I would have. I do go to church. You go, you go to church? Yes. Where? At Living Hope Ministries. Oh, yeah, you have come because the contract is finished. No. <laughs> but you go where? Living Hope Ministries. I'm with my spiritual parents. Where are your spiritual parents? Let them come. You talk too much. <laughs> you talk to uh, you. you. Talk to her. This man must never be like a boy to you. Must listen to your husband. If you want the ministry to grow, you understand? So that you help these people. Take this lady very serious in your church. You hear me? Yeah? Take this lady. They say rejection. Amen. Uh, did she tell you? Yes. Huh? So, you know? Yes. You know that she, she faced rejection. Eh? Yeah. So take this lady very seriously. She's going to be a leader. Amen. This, rege eh? this rejection is to make her to leave the Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's true. Eh? It's true. It's true. So you know? Yes. How do you know? Her friend eh? just left the church because she wants her to go and drink alcohol, whatever they were doing. She was recruiting her, but... But this one is serious, very serious. No, she cannot be a prostitute. You hear me? Amen. Because what... Uh, hey, this lady will be very serious. This will be a leader. This will be a leader. This lady. Because here this issue of prostitution, we call it what prostitution of nowadays, slay queen. Uh, were you away? Yeah. Eh? My husband once prophesied to her about the Jay-Z that she has that brings men. So it won't happen to her. This will be a leader in Jesus' name. Take this lady serious because this lady will support the ministry. Hi, my name is Diana Mapaseka Khatebe. I'm from Delmas. Um, I go to church in Living Hope Ministries HQ. I came to church today and I got a prophecy from Ude Dilana. He said that I faced rejection, which was true. It's a phase I've been going through for the past few months, and it has been nothing but bad. He said that it wanted to take me out of God's ways, which is true because I've started to feel like my love for God has been getting cold. So today I'm glad that finally the Lord has located me, and I'm glad that he also said that I'm a leader, which I believe that I am. So thank you. <laughs> 